All right, Shalom. First off, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahusha, by Hashem Rakak with Dash. want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And it's a Shir Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work and truth and in sincerity. Okay, I'm going to just go in on certain words. Okay, exhortation. Helping and hindrance, patience, balance, when it comes down to the brotherhood, okay? Now, brothers, okay, when when you look at Great Millstone, we're all fighting, or you're supposed to be fighting for the faith, and um, we're all supposed to be fighting for the same goal, Okay? which is to achieve salvation and getting the hell up out of this this hell. Now, with that said, we know that some brothers are going to get weak and some brothers are weak in certain areas, okay? But um, we have to know that, you know, where you're strong at in a certain area, you may also be weak in a certain area that that brother may be able to help you out in also, okay? But, you know, I'm going to go in on the word exhortation, okay, which means an address or communication emphatically urging someone to do something, okay? Like when brothers say, throw up videos, okay, um, we try to encourage brothers, you know, to have faith, okay, to, to, to study, because we know for a fact that Yahweh Shah is going to, um, going to come back now I'm gonna go look up this word encouragement okay the action of giving someone support confidence or hope okay persuasion to do or to continue something okay the act of trying to stimulate the development of an activity state or belief okay you can encourage brothers, you know, letting brothers know like, hey, you know, the, the Lord said he's going to put his words in our mouth. Okay, so have faith in the Lord, you know. And sometimes a brother may um may forget, you know. Sometimes Jake, Jake gets simple-minded. It's always in the scriptures that, you know, Jake used to get simple-minded, okay. But um, it might not even be just, you know, um... When it comes down to to to, to camp or, or something else, it may be in the world, you know, where a brother may need, you know, some type of cheering up, you know, or, or, or some type of motivation, you know, and, and we're supposed to, to, to keep them, you know, on path. See, the thing is, uh, a good one right here, a good definition or synonym is uh, morale boosting, Okay. That's one of the reasons why, you know, doing videos about being in the spirit is um is important. Okay? About, you know, the, the morale of um of brothers, which is the confidence, enthusiasm, or discipline of a person or group at a particular time. Okay? Now, you have certain situations where somebody may come out on the, on a highway and hedges or even doing videos and stuff like that as if they are enthusiastic okay about this this truth okay which it means intense or eager enjoyment interest or approval okay you have some guys that you know when you look at their their, their um their their you know, videos or, or how they are when they out speaking or whatever the case may be. Or some guys, they may, you know, shoot up to go see the apostles, right? And they, they look like they have this intense or eager enjoyment, enjoyment of the scriptures, okay? They look like they're extremely passionate, okay? And, and just exhortating every brother that, that's around because they feel like, you know, they're extremely more committed to this truth than everybody else but when you go into it they're really um bullshit artists okay 
and a lot of them guys came to get figured out and um you know they're no longer uh here and i'm talking about like for example the guys like that uh ip band lawyer from um the detroit you know just a uh an example okay you have um uh yakanan and certain other people okay but the the, the thing is you know they 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 do these videos okay to make it seem like you know they're extremely enthusiastic about this truth or they're really um you know when you look at it uh, yeah he gotta be a man of the lord but you know on the inside they they not really um you know they they're just probably there to probably put that that um courage into another brother you know who who may be more humble okay which that's one of the reasons why I say the balance is important, okay? And um, inspiration is important, uh, an important word also, because that's what we try to get brothers to, to, to do, okay? Which is the process of mentally, of being mentally stimulated to do or feel something, which all of that stuff ultimately comes down to, you know, fearing Yahweh by Shem Now, I'm going to get the scripture, John 3 and 3. Yahweh Shah answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto you, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of Yahweh by Yahweh Shah. Okay? And and you know, a lot of a lot of people, they look at these scriptures, right? And they look at another person coming in and and trying to exhort them to to, to try to, you know, encourage them to to, to follow the Lord and to, um, you know, pressuring people, okay, you know, giving, giving warning, which we're supposed to be doing, but at the same time, they, they themselves, they, they're not really born again, okay, because you got a lot of people that are, you know, bold speakers that are even in the world, you know, so, so a man, you had, you had this scripture, before you try to apply these scriptures to someone else, you need to first apply that to yourself to make sure that you are walking in the um the right spirit. Okay? And in the same way, you know, um I say that to, to other, you know, that you need to apply to yourself. This this same scripture applies to me, you know, more so than anybody else, you know, because I'm doing the video, okay? And when you say stuff, you these scriptures are supposed to be, you know, these lessons and stuff. You're supposed to really be saying that because you actually believe in it. You ex you 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 have faith, and these are the words. This is the grace that y'all by some y'all saw has sold onto you. Okay. Now the word help, which means make it easier for someone to do something by offering one service or resources okay and um this is this this is a, a key thing because inside of the the, the word help it, it says serve someone with food or drink which i'm gonna come back to this okay notice it says food or drink but it says the act of helping someone to do something assistance okay which we which we're in the mindset of trying to help the 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 brothers to serve Yahweh by Shem Yahweh, okay? We we are servants unto the Lord, okay? This is this is the Lord's service, okay? And we're servants, so the thing is, we we have to take heed on how we're dealing with certain um, situations. Okay, is is a servant. Okay, are we just you know beating every brother down and you know every time that a situation comes up, you know, or 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 are we um building brothers up? Okay, we have to we have to look at these things. Okay, so it's a, this is a service, which it says uh, assist, aid lend a helping hand to give assistance to come to the aid of 
be of service to, be of use to. To, I mean, do someone a favor, do someone a service, do someone a good turn, bail someone out, come to someone or the rescue, which Yahweh is, is really the one who's coming to, to um, rescue, okay? Give someone a leg up, informal, get someone out of a tight spot, save someone's bacon, which, you know, uh, man, that's, that's, that's a crazy saying, man, you know, it's bacon, you know, unless they're talking about turkey bacon, okay, but, you know, the thing is that one of the, um, the main attributes of, of us as men of the Lord is being hospitable, okay, and, and being brotherly and, um, charitable, which is affectionate, okay, and sincerity, okay, yeah, you may just give, give a brother a certain amount of money, you know, that don't mean that you, you really care about the situation, you know, if you're going to do something, do it because you actually care, okay, not because you, you feel like you're forced to do it, if you're going to do this work, and you're going to go out there on the highway and hedges, or you're going to throw up videos, do it because you actually care, man, Okay, don't do it just because Apostle Tahar, you know, then told you, um, hey, we got to, you know, urging brothers to, 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 to do, you know, 50 videos or three videos a day. You're supposed to want to do this, you know, just just it, it shouldn't have to take him to do that. And one of the reasons why he's, he's saying brothers to do that, you know, of course, is to push this word and to, to, to be in this, the, the spirit. Which is a good thing, you know. Rather than you know being in this 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 world and um getting caught up with the flesh, man, you know. Cause this this word is the real the real comforter, man. Okay. So brothers are you know we supposed to be giving guidance and, and assistance to to other brothers, and we need to take heed on how we're assisting brothers. Because we're, we're trying to get brothers to be men, okay? Towards y'all by some y'all shop, okay? Not um, uh, hinder brothers, which I'm going to get into that. Galatians 5 and 7. You did run well. Who did hinder you that you should not obey the truth, okay? And sometimes, you know, you may be a hindrance onto brothers, okay? First off, if you being hard on the brother and, and they don't want to come into the truth, okay, because you, you, you being hard, you know, or you exhorting people to do it, you gotta know, yeah, that man ain't ain't um ain't, ain't uh sincere about the Lord. Okay? But the thing is, if you see a brother that's sincere, okay, and he's you know been doing this thing, then you don't wanna hint you don't wanna be a hindrance onto that brother, okay, which means hinder create the difficulties for someone or something resulting in delay or obstruction hamper obstruct impede inhibit retard bulk prevent okay restrict stop slow down you know and and, and sometimes some some brothers be, be, be you know going overboard with you know uh cer certain things you know and it it it, it patience is is one of the, the 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 a major thing okay yeah we're we're not patient when it comes down to somebody that is uh bullshitting okay which patience means long suffering okay but when you know that something is is going to get get done okay do you able to, you know, tolerate and understand understand certain things? You know? You understand that, you know, that hey, if you if the even though you might not uh do the same thing if the tables were turned, you you understand that other brothers have different spirits, so you can't, you know, just look at it like, you know, just because I, if I was in that situation, I would do things differently, you know? What the scripture says, one man um, esteemeth 
uh, uh, another day, you know, differently. You know what? Um, me, I'm going to just get it. I don't want to per paraphrase it. Okay. I'm going to just get the scripture. Okay. Romans 15 and 5. 14 and 5. One man esteems one day above another. Another man, another esteems every day alike. Let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind. And it's not up to us, okay, personally to, 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 to try to make it to where we persuade another another brother. Okay? We we can't we we can't do anything but just teach the word. It's Jehovah by Shimia Shah who is the one who's who's persuading people, okay? To to, to giving people the, the, the full understanding. Okay, as well we gotta we gotta understand that balance. That that balance is is very very important. Okay, so we get some scriptures. Okay, um, Romans fourteen and seven. For the kingdom of God or Yahweh Bashem Yahshua is not meat and drink. Okay, and what this say? To serve someone with food or drink, right? But righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. Okay? So so when we go out on the highway and hedges, okay, it's not to, to, to say, oh, you know, what, what a brother knows and what a brother doesn't know. It's whether that brother is really sincere about you know about this truth. Okay. The being in the right spirit. That's the main thing, okay? And serving the Lord and the truth, you know? Knowing that the Lord, you know, that he's going to come back, okay? Different brothers, you know, have different different spirits and stuff like that, man, okay? Different brothers, um, like I said, they, they lack in certain areas, but you may be strong, so you try to help that brother rather than trying to hinder that brother, Okay, and you, okay, have to, to know if you are one of them brothers who, who, who are getting, getting um, you know, reproved all the time or rebuked all the time, you have to make sure that you're not being a hindrance onto brothers, man, okay, and that you're, you are actually helping brothers. You got to help yourself first, okay, that's, that's where it all starts at, but you have to make sure that what you are doing, okay, if you're, if you're broke all the time, then you you need to you need to know okay well what do I gotta do man like I know when I come around brothers you know that uh, I I may not have the money so what do I gotta do in order to try to uh, make things better you know what I'm saying do do you do you go work okay and 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 try to um, make amends in certain areas it, it, as far as like might not um might not uh go out to eat all the time okay do you do you actually uh you know basically go get you know food from from a, another place or, or or cook your own food you know do you do those things man rather are you making sacrifices are you are you are you just buying things of the world, you know, just to try to make your your um world a little comfortable, or are you just being the hindrance? These are things that that we have to take heed onto ourselves so that we not hindering other brothers, man. Okay? You spending up all your money during the week, but then when it come come down to camp, you need you need some some um some gas money. You know? Or 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 you need a ride to camp. You got it, and, and you ain't putting nothing into the brother's tank. You know, you're not being charitable. These, this is this is very important, man. And these are these are problems that that come up, man, because you know certain brothers, you don't don't not don't really understand how what the brotherhood is really about, man. You know. You, you you got a treasury set up and then but then as soon as you get a treasury started, next thing you know, you want to go into the treasury, man. 
You know, the treasury the treasury needs to be be built up, man. You know. So, First Thessalonians two and one, for yourselves, brethren, know our entrance and unto you that it was not in vain. And we're trying to, you know, help brothers onto the, you know, the kingdom, man. You know. But even after that, we had suffered suffered before, and were shamefully entreated, as you know, at Philippi, we were bold in our God or Yahweh by Shimei side to speak unto you, you the gospel of Yahweh by Shimei side with, with much contention, and this is one of the reasons why the apostles are able to say what they say, man. Okay, because they they they've been through it before. You always hear about what they did with the you know the oil tables and stuff like that, and people that you know from before are, are, are talking shit, you know. But here here they are still still preaching the gospel. Okay, the good news that Yahweh by Shem Yahshua is, you know, going to deliver us, man. Okay, it says, for our exhortation was not of deceit. And brothers, ain't we not supposed to be deceiving anybody, man, or feel like we, we running or walking over, brothers, man. You know, it says, for our exhortation was not of deceit, nor uncleanness, nor in guile. But as we were allowed of God, or Yahweh by Shem Yahshua, to be put in trust with the gospel, even so we speak, and that's what that's what this really is about, man. The good news, man. Okay, not as pleasing men, but how about some y'all side which tries our hearts. And some a lot of times, man, some 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 brothers just be speaking, okay, and and going deep into you know these scriptures, okay, to just try to please men, man. You know. Using using the scriptures is an advantage over over brothers, man. You know, when you're supposed to be giving this, the 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 scriptures on to brothers in order for them to gain an advantage on the world, man. On on this world, man, so that brothers can get the fuck up out of this hell that we going through, man. It says, for neither at any time use we flattering words, as you know, nor a cloak of covetousness. You how about some y'all size witness? Cause you know sometimes when you when we go into certain words and, and brothers, you know, you sit up there and you, you you break down certain scriptures. Now now all of a sudden you know it, it makes you makes it to where uh, another brother may feel like oh oh shoot I don't know that man so I gotta I gotta get up on that type of level, you know and that's what a lot of these these you know Nazarias and all these other people be trying to do man. You know, trying to use flattering words, man. You know, to, to try to, you know, make other people, you know, think think that uh oh I gotta I gotta get up on his level, man. You know? When as the scripture said, it's not about meat or drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. That we able to actually get up out of this hell, man, and enjoy life and be men. Not allowing, not, not allowing women or, or, or our, you know, mothers or, you know, um, anybody to walk over us, man. You know, not having to, to, to worry about, you know, somebody trying to sleep with your woman. Okay. Nor of men sought we glory, neither of you n nor yet of others. You know, all the, you know, 50,000 views and stuff like that, that that some people be getting. It says, when we might have been burdensome as the apostles of Yahweh Shah, but we were gentle among you, even as a nurse cherishes her children. Okay? And that's, you know, being a help, man. You know, of course, you, 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 you tell brothers and you, hey, you bullshitting, man. You know? Rebuking demons, that's that's a part of the, the, the ministry. Okay? So being affectionately desirous of you, we were willing to have imparted unto you not the gospel of Yahweh by Shemuel Shah only, but also our own souls, because you were dear unto us. And that's that's the thing, man. We trying to win souls, man, for Yahweh by Shemuel Shah. Okay? And we so that we can get closer to the Lord, man. Okay. 
For you remember, brethren, our labor and travail for laboring night and day, because we would not be chargeable unto you, any of you. We, pre we preached unto you the, go the gospel of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh You are witnesses, and, and Yahweh Bashim Yahweh also, how hol holily and justly and unblameable or un unblameably we behaved ourselves among you that believe. As you know how we exhorted and comforted and charged every one of you as a father does his children. And that's one of the reasons why the apostles do what they do, man. Okay, they exalt or, or exhort. Okay, and they also comfort and, and charge every brother, you know, to be in the same spirit, man. Because, hey, you're going to have people that, that come in and, and, and do some um, devilish uh, things. Be, be on your P's and Q's. Okay, and and even when it comes down to yourself, it says that you work, will work, walk worthy of your help by Shemuel Shah, who has called you onto His kingdom and glory. Okay, so that's what we are trying to get brothers to do, you know, to 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 walk worthily onto the Lord. Okay, and all of us are, are you know, each and last, each and every last one of us. So be following that example, okay? So I'm going to get this scripture. Luke 12 and 43. Blessed is that servant whom his Lord, when he comes, shall find so doing. Of a truth I say unto you that he will make him ruler over all that he has. And the Lord ain't going to make a, a person that is hindering everybody, okay? A ruler man but it and but and if that servant say in his heart my lord delays his coming and shall begin to beat the men servants and maidens and to eat and drink and to be drunken the lord of that servant will come in a day when he looks not for him and at an hour when he is not aware and will cut him in sunder and will appoint him his portion with the unbelievers okay and that servant which knew the Lord's will and prepared not himself, neither did according to his will, shall be beaten with many stripes. Okay, so we know this truth, and and we're more we're more we're held more accountable than the people of this world who don't know this truth. Okay, so but being as though that we know this truth, we we're if you're not doing what the Lord said for you to do. Okay, and helping them, you know, and, and edifying and as the, the scripture says, exhorting and comforting and charging every brother. Okay. Then then guess what? You're gonna be beaten with the with them stripes, man. Okay. So so exhortation, you know, helping and, and um patience and all these other different words, self control, okay. This all goes, you know, into to it's being in us, man. Okay, because the Lord could could easily take us out, man. The Lord had is is, you know, He's gonna have mercy on who He wants to have mercy on, man. You know. So with that, man, I want to say, uh, Salawam.